Hi, welcome to Trading with TK, teaching you to turn ideas into money. We're at www.tradingwithtk.com, and today's Thursday, October 2nd. Well, October's off to a good start, and uh, we're down 350 points. Uh, now, uh, if, if October holds on to its normal character, uh, I think there's a really good chance that the lows will be put in sometime this month, but we've got 20 more trading days, and I do believe it's going to happen uh much further than uh, than where we are right now on the downside. Uh, we'll take a look at all of that uh, in the uh, final segment when we take a look at the our indexes. Um, well, a lot of the resistance areas have been changed, so you want to uh, stay tuned to sh see where they're going to be. Uh, the transportation average absolutely got annihilated today. It was down over 400 points. And, uh, you know, I hope, uh, I hope Congress is listening to the market because they need to do something and they need to do something quickly. And the problem is not uh, that I think that this is the great bill. This bill may be the right bill and may not be the right bill. Um, my main concern about this whole thing is that they're not going to lift this short ban until this package is passed. So the sooner we get some kind of package passed, the sooner they're going to lift the short, uh, the short uh, or ban on there, because I'm going to tell you, it is absolutely creating chaos in the mechanics of how the market works. But these people can't sell short. Uh, you know, the market's crashing, and uh, the only way to make money in this market is to sell short. And the government's got our hands tied doing that. So they're a real big help to us. Um, just, I, I don't know how we got this far in this country. Uh, you know, obviously it wasn't it wasn't with this Congress, that's for sure. But uh, the other the other problem is not that they whether the bill is the right bill or whether they're arguing over uh, wooden arrows and other pork they want to put in here. The problem is that the, that the rest of the world is looking at us and saying that they can't make a decision. You know, so make the decision. If it's the wrong decision, we find out it's wrong. We'll change it. We'll come up with a new idea. But to sit around and do nothing is just uh, it's just mind boggling. But like I said, a uh, good chance that the market makes it slow this month, and here's some of the things that we're looking for. We need chaos. We need a very chaotic day. We need either specialists can't get the stocks open, too many sellers, or uh, everyone's computer goes down because of, um, because of the volume, and you can't get your orders in, and you're not getting reports back. Or, uh, you know, we go down a thousand points and the New York Stock Exchange has to stop trading because their circuit breakers have been, uh, initiated. You know, so I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it has to be chaotic. That's always a good sign that we're really close to the bottom because it's like a panic, chaotic day. Um, right now it's been orderly. You know, we're down 700 points one day. It was orderly. We're down 350 points today. Very orderly. We need some chaos, uh, to, to mark the bottom. Uh, okay. What else? Um, New new, uh, new resistance areas in the indexes. Stay tuned for that. I have a new idea. It's on the short side. It's a widely held stock. It's not a financial because I know we can't short those. Uh, it's um, a Radio Shack. And if you can't, uh, if your broker can't borrow the stock, uh, it's got options. So you may want to play it that way. Then we'll take a look at LEG, the stock we sold this morning. And uh, I also took a, a loss in Micron. Uh, you know, I was looking at too long, and it was just, just time to move out of it. That's basically how I'll put that. Uh, we'll be back in it again, and we will catch it the next time. But uh, right now, I'm just not going to lug it any longer. Okay, um, so I have a lot to cover, so let's get going. Um, um, I'm going to take a look at uh, Radio Shack. I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this idea and turn it into some money. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, we're looking at a daily bar chart of RSH, Radio Shack. This is a call on the short side. We'll be looking to sell a short tomorrow, you know, right around where it closed, I would think, at 16.35. Maybe we might get lucky and may kick back for us. Uh, that would be a gift anywhere around 17.20, 17.10. Anywhere up in here would be a gift. Don't hesitate to sell it short. Uh, I'm not really sure we're going to get that kickback because we've already had one. I'll show you in a minute. Um, my target on the downside is 11.60. Let's call it $12. Um, my buy stop is a close, a close above uh, this level right here, which is three dollars and uh, I'm sorry, which is eighteen dollars and thirty cents. And the reason I say a close is because see what happened here this day. If you had a buy stop in up in here, you would have been elected, and then the stock came crashing right back down again. And now it looks like it's going to roll out, roll over. 
again, and uh, and you'd have been out of the stock. That's why I would rather give it give it that little extra endurance of the pain to see if it closes above that breakout price or not. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got um, first of all, we've got a double top here. Looks like we can kick a football through this. Now, this is what I call a double top. A double top has to happen within the confines of the same pattern. You can't have a double to a top here and then another top over here somewhere and call it a double top. To me, that's not a double top. This is a double top. It looks like a goal post. You can kick a football through it. They're symmetrical. They almost match identical, the two highs. And then, uh, then you get this little descending triangle coming out of there. So we got the double top. We've got the House of Cards look up one side and then back down the other. And, of course, the right-hand side turns into a descending triangle, which we know is a bearish formation. And uh, that was our original support. We broke that. We kicked back. That's why I said I'm not sure we're going to get a kickback tomorrow because we've already had that kickback. But we'll see. I certainly wouldn't chase it if it breaks down here. If it, if it breaks down here, I'm not chasing after it. I'll always wait for a kickback. Okay, so that's my idea for tomorrow. Um, let me recap it. RSH, call on the short side, and uh, probably make ourselves, uh, let's say, uh, four and a half, five dollars Let's take a look at leg. Okay, sold this stock short this morning, 22.77. It, it continued its little kickback this morning, and, uh, you know, uh, it looked like it wanted to break out for a moment, but um, and I just knew the pattern is just... To, it's just a very negative pattern. One of my readers wanted to know, what's the difference between this pattern and this pattern? Why did I call for a short here and I call for one here? The difference is this, okay? This support right here, as the stock pulls back into it, it never violates it. And then it starts up again. On this one, on this formation, that support area right there, that first support area as it came down to it, did get violated. And that's the difference. That's one of the differences. The other difference is that this is, this is in a much bigger resistance area that I pointed out when I first highlighted this stock. It's all of this over here. So th th that's the difference between those two patterns, okay? This first support got violated. This never did. Uh, so I hope that explains the difference between those two patterns. A little lesson along the way. Okay, let's go take a look at the major indexes. I'm running out of time. I've got a lot to cover. The transfer, uh, the Dow, okay? Staircasing down, 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 down another step, down another step. Um, this is now our resistance area. I thought there was a chance we could get back up into, uh, into here, but I don't think that's in the cards anymore. Any rally back up into here is going to be met with resistance, okay? What I want to point out here is, is the distance from this top to this bottom is 2,300 points. Okay, so we had our rally. When the rally was over, we came straight down 2,300 points. Then we got another rally back up into here, and now we're rolling over again. Now, from this top to where we are now, we're only down about 1,000. I, that's why I say I think it was, we, we've got to come down more. Look at this break before we got a rally. Straight down before we got our rally. So you've got to knock them down big before you can get them to rally. And that's why I think we're going lower. Because we're not, we're, we're not down far enough, drastically enough, to, to warrant a rally. Transportation average got annihilated today. You know... We always looked at those declining tops. I always thought it just had a negative look to it. it just I never, I never could, could, uh, could, could grasp any kind of bullishness out of this thing at all. And today was down 400 points. Okay, we've got resistance right in here now. Any rally back up into this area is going to be our resistance. Russell 2000. Okay, I said yesterday uh, it's set up to break its support. This is its fourth time down, and the odds are very high that it's going to break. And uh, lo and behold. It closed below. So any kickback now into here, this whole thing, this whole area here is going to be resistance. SPY, basically standard poor 500, very similar to the Dow. This now is our new resistance area right here. Also have the staircase down, 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 down. QQQs made a new low today. 
Well, the only thing that's interesting about this is that we have had a very dramatic break in this. So this might be getting closer to its bottom than the Dow, only because you know th this is this is quite a dramatic uh, drop in the straight line, pretty much straight line. But still negative looking, no sign of a turnaround here at all. This is all our resistance right in here. Any rally back up into here is going to be met with resistance. So that's why I think the market's going lower. Um, that's my view of the market till tomorrow. Keep your powder dry. This is TK signing off.